prepare the hard disk on the machine, and set up a host partition to hold the host OS and the hypervisor. The next thing we do is, is the agent downloads uh, the, the server core, a uh, hypervisor enabled server core DHD. Next we attach a differencing disk to that DHD. This allows the, the base DHD to be read only with all changes going to the differencing DHD, which in turn allows us to reset to a known state if necessary. Uh, those two boxes there are really two boxes on the hard disk of the machine, they're two files. Next, uh, the maintenance OS shuts down and the, operating, and the machine reboots into the operating system, booting natively from the VHD. Again, an agent inside the operating system speaks to the fabric controller. The fabric controller says, let's set up a virtual machine, a guest partition. Again, we download uh, an operating system VHD. For this example, it's a server enterprise VHD. We download that VHD. Again, we attach a differencing disk. And, and this time, we also uh, create and attach an application VHD. You, the, the, the applic application developer, have uploaded a package containing your code into the fabric. And we now download that package to the machine, extract the contents, and start your application. Let's start another virtual machine. This time, we're going to use server core, not server enterprise. We don't have that VHD yet, so we have to copy it. The rest of the steps are similar. Uh, we attach a, a differencing disk, create an app VHD, download the app pack, start the app. Now, let's do a third uh, virtual machine, this time with server enterprise again. Because the base VHD is read-only, we can share the VHD among the two virtual machines that are running server enterprise. The rest of the steps are the same, as you can see. But this is, this is a very important to us. It means that we don't have to make a, a copy of this huge, and it really is huge, uh, operating system, DHD, for every virtual machine. We can share the DHDs. 